Hello dear friends, Patrick here. Wednesday, October 30th, 2024. October 30th, 2024. Early in the morning here, sun just got up. I've been up since 7. Uh, and it was pitch black when I got up. But um, beautiful to see the sun streaming in here early at a little bit of a different angle. Just want to make a short video today, hopefully, and a two-part video. The, the, the second part I'm going to be addressing a question somebody had about Richard Dawkins. And the first part, I wanted to just briefly talk about um, a little bit of my focus. I know that I'm getting some comments in and the, the difference between um, the focus on, on atheism, theism, and Christianity in particular. Um, so I, I recognize that there's people that really have a problem with Christianity. Uh, for example, indigenous people. Um, Maybe I'll pull Elizabeth Warren and, and um, let you know that um, according to Ancestry.com, I have some small percentage of indigenous in me because my ancestors uh, um, in eastern Canada uh, intermingled with the um, uh, indigenous uh, people there. But um, that's not really relevant. But I did uh, live in a, an indigenous community for, for a period of time growing up on the west coast of British Columbia and so um, I understand that um, the association between uh, Western Christianity and and colonialism and how toxic that is or or um, repulsive I guess you could say uh, to certain groups of people I get that and um, those people will never have any interest in um, you know what they might say um your god or your western religion or what or things like that however um the um they have a very the 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 indigenous people that i have met the first nations people that i have met um have a very strong association with with nature not always but in general i, I have to generalize a lot of times sorry i'm, I'm trying to get this sleep out of my eyes still they have a strong association with nature and 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 um, being a part of of uh, the creation of and they recognize you know a, a a heavenly creator if you want to call it that. I'm not going to try and pretend I'm an expert on uh, various indigenous beliefs and um, when Western peoples first came over here, some were living in peace, some were uh, fighting each other vi viciously in tribal warfare. Some were um, working hand in hand. If you go down to um, Niagara region of Canada, you'll see uh, plaques and memorials to how the Iroquois uh, fought together with the British uh, during the War of 1812 with the uh, War of 1812 with with the uh, American um, ba uh, skirmishes that they had along the border there. Um, but anyway, the point I was trying to make is that. Um, for me, theism is a universal concept, that there is a, a universal desire within the hearts of 99% of the Earth's population. I know there's outliers, but indigenous people, um, atheists, um, all these different religions, Buddhists, um, the, uh, you know, reading from the, the um, what was that book that I did a review on? The... Um, the Bhagavad Gita interpreted by um, Mahatma Gandhi and those principles of being a good person and, and um, the golden rule and, and trying to come to terms with the concept of a creator within us that we have this spiritual yearning to understand that God created us and how should we relate to him to the best of our ability and this is, this is why I call myself a theist, right? And in some sense you could say that um, a fundamentalist often, or, or they, they, I, it's hard to categorize, but they, they often focus on, um, certain Christians often focus on John 3.16. I, I usually prefer more John 3.17, right? God didn't come into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. And so, you know, I was thinking the other day, I, I saw on this channel, I'm just going to diverge here a little bit. Um, where you're on this channel and they're on a live stream and somebody gifts somebody memberships. Have you ever seen that? I don't know if you've ever seen that, but 
in the chat, they have a chat on a live YouTube video and somebody might come along and gift some memberships to the different people. And those people that receive that gifted membership, they don't have to do anything. They just get this gift. And, and this is how I look at Christianity in a way. You have theism as a, as a foundation, but then along comes this gift that somebody provided for you. I don't have to explain what I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about, right? They, they've provided this gift for you, and you don't have to do anything to get it. Now, there's, there is a normal response that we're suggested to have, and I think it was eloquently described by John the Baptist. In fact, Jesus said John the Baptist was, was one of the greatest or the greatest person that ever lived um, up to that time. And, and, of course, he talked about people in the kingdom of heaven are even greater than that. But anyway, John said, now bring forth fruits worthy of repentance, he said. So he kind of was telling people, you know, prepare the way, you know, get ready because the kingdom of God is coming and, and, and there's someone coming who's, who's far greater than I am and he's going to provide you this gift. And so the response to that gift is what Christianity is all about. So I'm a theist first, but above and beyond that, I'm also a Christian. So I hope that helps to clarify things. I, I recognize that there's going to be some atheists in my audience that will never have any interest in Christianity at all, at all. I get that. Um, because of cultural differences and their background and, and of course, the pain that they've gone through, right? The, um, the um, uh, horrible things that we've heard stories about the Catholic Church and this abuse that occurred and they're trying to cover it up. And, and people that are coming out of that trauma don't want to hear anything to do with Christianity, Western style Christianity or Catholicism for that matter. And, and I understand that's a horrible uh, situation. And so I hope that clarifies a little bit. I do like studying um, uh, theism and um, Christianity and atheism and so on. And so I don't know if that helps at all to, to, to let people know where I'm coming from, because I, I do want to respect uh, what people have gone through, what culture they're coming from. And I've said it before, if that's you, then more power to you. You know, God bless you. Uh, live and let live. I, I, I don't want to. to. Um, but for all you trolls out there, <laughs> let me switch. Okay, let me switch quickly. Um, I got a, um, a question from a anonymous troll, as usual. Now, I'm going to reach a point where I'm not going to be able to respond to anonymous trolls. If I see that you have a, a picture and... and you're an actual real person. Um, it gives a lot more credence to what you're saying. But these these trolls are coming out. This this one, for example, is from a guy by the name of, um, I'm assuming a guy could be a girl, um, Junius Lurius Catalyst six six zero six. So he's got this big, long, clever uh, YouTube name, and he says he exposed me, and he walked all over me, and he said I was a liar, and um, on and on and on. And um, I was. Uh, because I said that um, Dawkins had talked about clams or that, that some things didn't evolve, he said I was lying. And so you got me in a lie. He, he was talking about mollusks. I can't even pronounce it. Mollusks? M-O-L-L-U-S-K? No, I can't pronounce that. Mollusk. <laughs> I need to have more better enunciation of my words. I need to speak more clearly so that you can understand what I'm saying and I had called it a clam but here we go so I don't know if you're gonna be able to screenshot this because it's even got all my notes on it um, does this come out in the in the you'll have to buy his book that's all right and there's my notes there and so that's from um, Richard Dawkins the greatest show on earth so this is for um, what's his name again Junius Lurius, something like that. So here we go. Um, he's talking about living fossils. He says, they're creatures that have changed so little that their remote ancestors, almost as though they were fossils. Okay, he's talking about living fossils. So here we go. Page 140 from The Greatest Show on Earth. This is just to address this guy called me a liar. And I'm thinking about um, Tony Montana. Even when I lie, I'm telling the truth. I said clams, he said mollusks. Okay, 
You got me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, favorite living fossil is the brachiopod lingula. You don't need to know what a brachiopod is. They would surely have been staples on the menu had seafood restaurants flourished before the Great Permian extinction a quarter of a billion years ago. It's being clever and silly here. The most catastrophic extinction of all time. A superficial glance might confuse them with bivalve mollusks, mussels and their kind, but they're really very different. Their two shells are top and bottom, where mussel shells are left and right. Now this is interesting. He's talking about mollusks, right? There's a picture of this laguna and a picture on the other one on the bottom. And he says, oh, they're, they're very different because one, one, one has a shell that's top and bottom, but the other one has a shell that's left and right. <laughs> okay, okay. as a zoologist, he probably got all these reasons why one is left and right and one is top and bottom, right? Very different. <laughs> it reminds me of... I'm, I'm surprised he gets away with this, right? He's probably in a pub with Christopher Hitchens one time saying, I wonder if I can get away with this absolute BS and, and, and see if I can slide it past, but I don't know. But it reminds me of the video of, of uh, uh, Spinal Tap where the guy's got the stereo and he says, you know, most stereos go up to 10, but look at this one, it goes up to 11. <laughs> I don't know why it reminded me of that, right? Uh, this is top and bottom, but this one is left and right. And the other guy comes up to him and says, why don't you just make the stereo louder on volume number 10? And the guy thinks about it for a second. He goes, no, no, this one goes up to 11. <laughs> I don't know if, if anybody remembers that movie, Spinal Tap, the movie it was called, something like that. Um, so he says these are, these are different, right? One is left and right and one is top. But let's leave them for that. He's a zoologist, so he's allowed to do that, right? I can't comment on the different shapes of mollusks because I'm not a zoologist. Uh, so he goes down here and he says, um, uh, fossils uh, going back more than half a billion years to the Cambrian era. Now, I said these were the oldest fossils. I was wrong, right? The Earth apparently is 3.7 billion years old, and they found fossils that are 3.5 billion years old. But the oldest fossils of, of uh, mammals are not that old. The oldest um, human um, uh, fossils are not that old. The oldest uh, human skeleton fossils, I think, are like couple hundred thousand years old which is nothing compared to um, five, uh, half a billion years he says I should admit however that a fossilized shell is not a lot to go on and some zoologists dispute Lingula's claim to be an almost wholly unchanged living fossil now this is an interesting sentence that he says here he says I should admit however that a fossilized shell is not a lot to go on and some zoologists doesn't say what zoologists dispute Lingula's claim Lingula is not making a claim, but it's a clam, right? It's, it's a freaking, uh, to be almost wholly unchanged living fossil, right? And that's, that's, that's the, um, that's the um, picture of the, this thing here, the Lingula, he calls it, and uh, almost identical to its modern relatives. It's a freaking clam, right? But anyway, let's move on. Hang on quickly here. Many of the problems that we meet in evolutionary evolutionary argumentation arise only because animals are inconsiderate enough to evolve at different rates and might even be inconsiderate enough not to evolve at all. Page 141. Dawkins said it, okay? So for this um, troll who said I was lying when I said that Dawkins said some animals don't even evolve, and this guy said everything evolves, right? They all evolve. Um, so you have this clam fossil that is half a billion years old, and it looks exactly identical, this lung Lungulella, whatever he calls it. Lungula? Lungulella? I don't know why he... Whatever. He says... And then he, and then he mentions other examples, too. He says there's other uh, living fossils, uh, include the horseshoe crab, excuse me, uh, coelacanths and, and horseshoe crab. So they've got these fossils of horseshoe crabs that are gazillions years old, and the, and the horseshoe crab you find today is the same. So he says that these, these are inconsiderate enough not to evolve at all. So they didn't evolve from 500 million years ago to today. They just stayed the same. A clam is a clam is a clam, right? Um, da, 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 and he talks about this other stuff, some biobabble, and um, he says... They, 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 
we have to contend with living fossils like Lungula, which in extreme cases have changed so little that they might almost interbreed with their remote ancestors if only a matchmaking time machine could procure them a date? That's kind of a weird thing to say. But anyway, he's talking... Dawkins. Um, but that is uh, the reason why I wanted to address that. Uh, because um, this uh, person who commented said that he exposed me and walked all over me. Oh dear, I'm all beat up. I'm all shook up. <laughs> Ooh. Um, so you can walk all over me, but just don't step on my blue suede shoes, okay? So thank you again. Oh, thank goodness I was able to finish this quickly. And just to cover those two little points that I was hoping to make today. I pray that you're doing well, that you're going to have a beautiful day. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today, and um, I'll probably post this later today because I think I scheduled one already for this morning. Um, I'm going to have to take a break because I'm going nuts with all these videos, and maybe I'll take a little bit of a break over Halloween and come back on um, All Saints Day. I, I much prefer All Saints Day to Halloween. Um, and it's funny because from the time that I made the video that's going up this morning to now somebody posted some comments and his name was uh, who was that guy uh gee whiz something about nihilism and his avatar is a skull and that came in after i made the video i was talking about today where i'm talking about skulls and all that anyway it's so so coincidental right um and and i hadn't seen his comment um i couldn't have because it came in after i already uh, uploaded the video. So that's interesting. You got that, right? Skulls. They want to associate with death um, for some reason. But there you go. Thank you again for watching. God bless you. I hope you're doing well. I'm sorry I'm going to probably get bogged down not being able to keep up to the comments because they're coming in so often that sometimes I just make little trite responses and be silly like, uh, you know, whatever. I just say, ah, sure thing, buddy, or something like that. Or sure thing, sure thing, Sparky. Especially when they're insulting me, right? Ah, you're, I don't know what you're talking about. You're a liar. You're stupid. <laughs> oh, and uh, oh, this gentleman said, have I graduated from being a cockroach to an a-hole? He said, yes, you have. You have graduated. I hereby grant you your graduation ceremony. Come to the front of the class and accept your gold star for being an a-hole. <laughs> you, you made me say that. <laughs> no, you're not. You 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 are whatever you think you are, right? Do do the best you can. Don't don't be a bad person. Thank you for watching. God bless you all, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Okay, take care. Have a great uh, Halloween if you celebrate. If you don't, I don't celebrate it, but I gotta give out some candy uh, to the kids at the front door because there'll probably be kids there, and um, I gotta go down to the store and pick up some of them. Um, boxes of they have the miniature chocolate bars or something like that i don't know i'll figure something out but thank you very much for watching we'll talk to you again soon we probably won't see you until um november have a great um, have a great day and we'll talk to you soon take care now bye bye